most people find salah boring or a chore or something which is difficult and you just have to do it for the sake of doing it and if you don't do it then you'll burn in hell like barbecue chicken wings and that's the only exposure to salah we seem to have since we've been kids I remember my father used to drag me to salah when I was 11, 12 years old and if I'm absolutely honest, I did not enjoy prayer I used to actually resent going to the masjid, especially taraweeh time because it was just, I'm just standing there the only time I actually benefited from my salah and enjoyed my salah is when I understood what I was saying in my prayer the Quran itself says That prayer is difficult and cumbersome for most people except those who have khushu, except those who are humble minded and the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what he enjoyed the most in this world, he said the Qurrata Ain, like the coolness of my eyes, my chill out thing, is my salah. Because in his salah, he was able to recite Quran. And the Quran itself says, Ida alihim ayatu, when God's verses are being recited, Zadatum Imana. Your iman increases. You get like an iman rush, like somebody who drinks Red Bull and gets a sugar rush. Like your iman goes sky high. But sadly for most people, salah is just up and down, touch the ground, turn around and back to town, gone in 60 seconds. This is a perfunctory action void of any spiritual benefit or merit because we're just going through empty motions. And Allah, talk, I mean Allah talks about the munafiqeen in the Quran, He actually says, when they, when they stand up for prayer, they pray ostentatiously. When they stand up for prayer, they pray in this really lazy kind of way. They're being forced to pray, sometimes there's social pressure, sometimes now, people around you are praying or you're being forced to pray, but your heart is not really there. And the only way you can connect to your prayer is by understanding what you recite in your salah. What I will be doing, inshallah, in the next video, I'll be giving a detailed schedule and a game plan that you can follow step by step of how to actually understand what you recite in your salah. Why do we say 17 times a day, guide us towards a straight path? Who are the dalim? Who are the maqbubi alihim? And why, why is God vexed with these people? And what can we do not to be amongst them? So all of this is in, in, our, in, in our Fatiha that we recite daily. In the next video, inshallah, I'll explain in detail how you can access a better understanding towards your salah, inshallah.